Now, I've said in many of my videos, hello, by the way, that one of my biggest issues with flat earth believers is that kids quite often, or young people quite often, will absolutely buy into what they're saying. And this is a problem because they're basically setting up kids to fail and to look stupid and I agonized over whether or not to make this video for about four seconds <laughs> but I've come across a flat earther she's a young flat earther admittedly but damn Welcome everyone to another episode of Flat Art Friday. Now today's episode was going to be a movie review of the new Logan Paul documentary, but I came across this video and I've I've got to make it because I have never seen a better example of why the flat earth movement is so damaging to young people. I stumbled across this channel. It's a girl called Schmitty and well you, you'll you see exactly what I mean. But if it's your first time you're, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let's get on with the video. So we're up here. We are up here. Do you not see? Do you not see? Is there any curvature? Is there any curvature? No, there's not. This is a real life depiction of world. You have trees. Um, you know, it, Minecraft is a real-life sandbox game that was designed to be like real life. Yeah, she did just say that. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now, unfortunately, this video was very short. I think it was like a minute and a half, so there's not a lot there for me to make a video about. But it's not the only video on her channel where she talks about Flat Earth. Now, if I was this girl's parent, I would seriously be considering sitting her down and having a chat with her because, as you'll see, her attitude absolutely stinks. But the issue I've got with the video is why does she think the earth is flat? Where has she heard it from? Now, she references red pill. Now, I'm not sure if that's red pill philosophy or... If it's her meds. So let's see. <laughs> you probably never would have expected this from me because of the amount of hate I got before. But this is more proof of the flat earth. And when I saw her say more proof of the flat earth, I was really, really hoping that it would be something a little bit more substantial than Minecraft. You guys message me all the time and you say... Do you still think the earth is flat? Well, once you get red-pilled with the flat earth, you never go back. <laughs> She's not creepy at all. What do you mean? Sorry, you want my proof the earth is flat? I have some amazing proof for you guys. Yeah, more proof is what I'm waiting for. Because if you can provide proof that the earth is flat, you'll be the first person to ever do it and it is so obvious obvious awesome the most obvious thing you could ever imagine yeah i know obvious i know what obvious means come on you guys have heard of google maps right i expect you have you know it's a really nice thing you get to cruise around the street sometimes i like to go to places that i don't actually live cruise around the streets and i like to just have a walk around instead of going on my um exercise trip so you ever use google maps i'd expect you'd zoom out on it hold on a second i know exactly where this is going here's some footage of me zooming out on google maps Mm. 
I win. These are real pictures of the globe. The director of NASA even said in a quote that they were in fact photoshopped. This is 100% real. It is photoshopped, but it's, it's, has to be. Robert Simon wasn't the head of NASA, you silly girl. He was the lead data visualizer and information designer. And the reason he said it's photoshopped because it has to be. The problem is with young people, you think Photoshop is making Kim Kardashian's bum look bigger. But Photoshop is a tool used to compose images as well. So basically the blue marble is made up from varying shots, um, which have all been put together to form the big picture. And that doesn't mean that they've made it look round, you silly girl. Like they say, you know that gravity they talk about? Apparently, it's meant to pull everything to the bottom of the earth. But what are you talking about? Gravity pulls everything to the bottom of the earth. A sphere doesn't have a top or a bottom. Bottom. <laughs> gravity pulls everything towards the centre of mass. What, why you, she looks like she could potentially go on to be a serial killer, doesn't she? Or is it just me? And that menacing music is giving me the heebie-jeebies. I'll have you know that not doesn't, because if it did pull everything to the bottom of the earth, where would the water be? All down the bottom. Bottom. <laughs> and nowhere would have water. <laughs> there is no, forget bottom. There's no bottom. Center of mass. This is a ball, so the centre of mass is in the middle of that ball and everything is being pulled towards the centre from all directions, all the way around. Now, I'm not going to tell you round enough believers to... to die. To die. To die. To die. Like I did in my last video. To die? Take my red pill, kid. Or you're just gonna end up like everyone else. I'm not wrong, am I? It's just <laughs> And it gets worse. She goes on. Here's another one of her videos. I am sick of all you round earth believers saying that the earth is not flat. I'm Schmini, part of the Flat Earth Society, and I'm gonna tell you why the earth is flat. She's a sassy little madam, isn't she? I think maybe she needs uh, a bit of the old Nathan Oakley parenting technique to bring her down a peg or two. And it's flat earth, not fat earth. First, someone told me that if the earth was flat, then gravity would be way stronger. I'm going to tell you right now, gravity is not a thing. Let's just take gravity and throw it out. Let's just take gravity and throw it out the door. Gravity, not a thing. Gravity does not exist in the Flat Earth Society. Gravity is not a thing, okay? Gravity does not exist in the Flat Earth Society. But what about everywhere else? Um, second of all, uh, how we all keep together, there is a huge wall of ice around the Earth. It's flat, there's a huge wall of ice around the Earth. Second, people who think that they've travelled around the world are just going under Antarctica, around Antarctica, sorry, and the sun uh, goes like from the top of the world to under Antarctica and then it's the same with the moon and then they come back up when it's time. Okay, so all you people trying to tell me that the earth is not flat can go just die. Die? Because you are contributing to Illuminati theories. Yes, okay. The flat earth is like, we kind of believe that the Illuminati is like kind of trying to make us believe that the earth is round. Um, faking satellite images, they're very easy to fake. Um, uh, what else? Faking trips to space. Okay. Now, I like to think that my viewers are a sensible bunch. You are, guys. I know you are. So I'm fairly sure that I'm not the only one who's going to have noticed this. All this 
girl is doing is regurgitating every single basic flat earth nonsense argument that she's heard online on YouTube to be to be more specific from the likes of Nathan Oakley, Jeronism, D Marble, M Benz, Nathan Roberts, Nathan Thompson. Need I go on? And it would be funny if somebody was to actually ask her what the Illuminati was. Would she be able to explain it? I seriously doubt it. She's a kid. But, but can you see what I mean about how concerning this should be for normal, rational people like us? This... <clears throat> a girl like this only exists because she's buying into the flat earth nonsense that some of these channels are putting out. And they claim that they're not doing any harm. Yeah, right. Good one. And, um... Just stuff like that. You're contributing in that. Like, Satanism, sin, lies, lying is sin. Yes, I I mean to tell you that lying is a sin. Oh, my God, for the love of... Please don't tell me she's a religious nut job as well. She's way too young to be tied up in that nonsense. Um, and also, uh, the Earth is flat because if we have airplanes... Going around the earth, they're just gonna go off the earth and fall. That's a thing. If the earth is not flat, this is what would happen. He here's the circle of the earth. Airplane falls because it came off the edge. It's I'm not wrong, am I? She is literally just regurgitating any flat earth content that she's watched. It's she has to be. She absolutely has to be. And, it, uh, <laughs> and if not, somebody get this girl some help, please. Okay, so thank you. The earth is flat. It's very passionate. I'm very passionate about this. So. And there we go. There's that smug smirk on her face again. I'm very passionate about it. No, you're not. You've been sucked into nonsense. But, but <laughs> when you're an adult and you look back on this, can, can you imagine how embarrassing it's going to be? And now that you've got to the point where somebody else, and I'm not the first person to do it, I'll, I'll point out, that somebody else has made a video about your videos, just... I, 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 I don't know what to say. You're just... Right, perfect example. We've all watched a TV program or watched a, a film, a movie, and seen a guy or a girl wearing a jacket and thought, oh, that's a cool jacket, I want that jacket, and then you go out and buy it. Now, most adults won't admit to it, but they, you've done that. You've been influenced by what you've seen and heard. It's part of human nature. That's how we are. You see a guy wearing a cool pair of jeans, you want that same pair of jeans. You see a girl wearing a nice pair of high heel shoes, you want those same high heel shoes. And that's exactly what this is. She's watched this flat earth content and thought, oh yeah, I, I, I can believe, I can, I can fit in there. I can believe in that. I'll feel special. I'll stand out from the crowd. And... Uh, Please, stop making flat earth videos. You are hurting the younger generation. And there's no other way to say it. It's just, it's getting out of hand now. And what with all the infighting going on in the flat earth community, it seems to be collapsing in on itself anyway. You know, not only do you not agree with us that the earth is quite clearly a globe, but it also seems now that you can't even agree with, e agree with each other. So... Oh, dear me. Anyway, thanks, guys. As always, I've been the Creaky Blinder, and um, I'll see you all on Sunday for Creaky Blinder Live. Take care. Have a good one. Bye.